people. I've always I've always tried to find stars as opposed mm. to just records. So very recently, I was I bumped into this little prodigy named Lord. I was just going through my inbox one day, mm. and there was an email, and the subject line was hot shit, and then it just said unsigned New Zealand female. Listen, it had a link to her SoundCloud. I took one listen, and Royals was the first song on it. No way. And I called it. I called it Natalia. I was like. What in the world is this? So I was like, we got to find her. So I found her uh, on Facebook, I think. How old was she then? 15. Like right when you discovered her and you found her, you were just like, okay, here's the next step. We're going to put this out. And then it just kind of took off. Yeah. I mean, it was a little more involved than that, but she had, the music was there. And, you know, she. She was writing all her own stuff. And she wrote the whole first record with a guy named Joel Little. No, she also, like, I I remember when she told me the name of the album was going to be Pure Heroin. And I was like, I. I actually, it took me a day and a half to recover from the genius of that, right? Like pure heroin with an E on the end and Lord has an E on the end. And it's just like. And what's her uh, name? Does she call herself Lord then or is it? Well, she's always been Lord as long as I've known her. And the crazy thing is, you know, I saw the first show she ever did, which was at this little club in Auckland. (laughs) Probably 70 people there. But she was Lord. I mean, you know, sometimes you see artists that's that like, they start off and they're really bad. And uh-huh. then they have to grow and, and you get better. You do hundreds and hundreds of shows, you yeah, get better. Yeah, yeah. She was Lord. I mean, she, she was, was on stage it. owning it. You know, like... 15. 15. She wrote Royals because she saw a picture of George Brett in a Royals uniform. Hmm. Royals becomes the biggest song in the, in the country by far. And number one, it's seven formats, which never happens. And, and, and huge all over the world. And the Royals, who are perennially terrible at baseball... Become the best team in baseball. It's overnight. Kansas City, right? Yeah. Kansas. So you knew when you saw her that you were like, "Yes, this is this is going to happen. This is big already." Yeah. When I heard it, when I saw it, it was just like, and I was just lucky to get it when I did.